got this is Android Hacker here now I'm going to show you something cool for those of you who want to experience ICS but don't really want to install ICS update for your phone because it's still in beta or not really function functional thing well sorry for my English uh, easy said it's not stable so this will be some will be a modification on your settings setting of your phone it will sh it will be a replica of ICS setting for your Cyanogen Mod 7 if you are using Cyanogen Mod 7 so this will be for rooted phones and rooted phones who are using custom ROMs you can flash this over for those who are using X8 and Optimus one. I'm not so sure if um, it's working on other phones, but for now I only know that it works for my phone. If you, the instruction will be um, in the link. So if you want to try out these uh, modifications, you can um, go down to the uh, description below. I will give the link uh, to these modifications so you can try out. So once you remember this modification can only be installed using cast using clockwork mod recovery by flashing it. I'm not so sure if you can use ADB Android debugging um debug debug debugging. Uh, yeah. So once you flash it, um first wipe data uh, no, sorry, first do an Android backup this is very important because if your phone boot loops or there's something wrong with your phone after installing it um, restore from the your Android backup that is the first and most the most important thing that you have to do whenever you flash something something that is risky and you don't know okay um after flashing after after doing Android backup wipe your Delvix cache and also um, flash the zip file you will go under settings and you will notice the changes you have sh here you have wireless and network uh, category wi wireless and network category which consists of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth when you click more you have call setting, airplane mode you have Wi-Fi you have 4G setting for those of you your phones who are capable of 4G settings which mine doesn't work so it force closes so when you click more you have Bluetooth you have tether tethering and, port and portable hotspot you have VPN and also mobile networks so when you scroll down you have device and the device you have sound display storage battery apps for battery when you click battery it will give you the stats how long you will, your battery will last, which applications or what system is running in your background and sucking up your battery so you have apps, when you click apps you have this menu which is easier to find when you scroll down under personal you have profile, accounts and synchronize location service, security, language and input um, backup and reset you scroll down to system you have date and time accessibility developer options signage mode settings and about phone so that's about it just remember to do nandroid backup wipe your Dalvik's cache and flash your ROM flash this zip sorry with clockwork mode recovery so that's a quick review of modifications done by the developer of the modifications so thumbs up to him so anyway if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up if you like my videos and would want to continue watching my videos subscribe to my channel over there if you want to try out the the modifications just uh, scroll down to the description below and uh, download and try I'm not responsible and I'm not the developer developer of the modification of the setting so um, 
feel free to pop down your comments down in the comment section below uh, give your feedbacks your thoughts um, on the modifications on any review that I, I do is it better is it worse do I what do I need to improve please give me logical and sense and something that is logical for me to understand don't give me those type of crap comment because I don't take in crap comments and I really really want those logic comments so that I can improve on my video so thank you for watching this is Android Hacker here signing off